Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick and here's your political news roundup for Thursday, November 4th. President Obama will play host to congressional leaders from both sides of the aisle this month. The president invited leaders to the White House on November 18th. The invitation comes just two days after Republicans scored major wins in the midterm elections, taking control of the House and significantly reducing the Democrats' majority in the Senate. Obama says he wants the White House meeting to focus on the economy, tax cuts, unemployment insurance, and a new nuclear arms treaty with Russia. It might be a tense White House meeting, though, without much compromise. Shortly after the president issued the invitation, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell had a blunt message. He said the Republicans' goal for the coming two years will be to deny Obama re-election. McConnell said he'll ask the Senate to repeal or scale back the Obama health care reform law. McConnell's comments came in a speech to the Heritage Foundation. On the economic front, Wednesday's announcement from the Federal Reserve to expand its quantitative easing program is being welcomed on Wall Street. The stock market responded with a modest gain yesterday and shot higher today. All three of the major indices were trading at two-year highs at mid-afternoon. The Fed says it will purchase another $600 billion worth of treasuries to lower interest rates and it hopes to get businesses growing and hiring again. Overseas, the coordinated bomb attacks in Greece are widespread. They're just not very destructive. Greek authorities found a 14th explosive device in the mail today. It was addressed to the French embassy in Athens. None of these devices has exploded on its own, and there have been no serious injuries. Foreign bound mail service was suspended on Wednesday, but it's set to resume on Friday. Authorities think the letter bombs are a protest to the budget cut measures being taken by the Greek government to reduce its deficit and not related to the more powerful bombs intercepted on their way to the United States last week. That's your political roundup for Thursday, November 4th. I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.